Six, a man who lost his truck to thieves says he was victimized not once, but twice. First, when they stole his truck, and again when he tried to get it back from the tow yard. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Russell has more on a frustrating problem linked to a lack of regulation in Detroit. Peter Fiorino came to do a job in Detroit and learned someone stole his company's dump truck. A short time later, BBK Towing in Detroit called. It had the truck. Then they said they needed to prove that I owned the company. So I went and got my uh, articles of incorporation. And then it shows my name with the name of the company. And they told me that this is not what they were looking for. What are they looking for? I don't know. No answer. The company refused to even tell him where it picked up the truck so he could go to the proper police precinct. It's been 12 days now, and I still can't have my vehicle, and I need to have it. Peter had called police, but they had no information about his truck, so I called my sources, and they were able to find the information. They then called the tow yard and told me, you know what? The tow yard should release that truck. So I went back to the tow yard with Peter. There was good news and bad news. We just want to know if he's going to have to pay for all the days after he came in and proved he owned the truck. Because the cop said he should just have to prove that he owns it. Peter got his truck but had to pay for days it was stored, although it should have been released. $715. It's a common story in Detroit, but not such a common story in Oakland County, where tow yards are tightly regulated under contract. We call the wreckers, and it wouldn't be right for us to call a wrecker that would be unscrupulous and charge you whatever they want. Towers say they're happy to provide good customer service to keep the contracts guaranteed business. I know what to expect. I know that I'm going to get these calls. Peter wants to see tighter regulation in Detroit, which is within the power of city council. Look at, at, at how deep the level of corruption may go with these people because everything is cash. And if it's cash, something needs to be done because it's just not right what they're doing. And I think if you're going to start cleaning the city, start with these towing companies right here. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.